Hey, Jiggy. So okay, today we're doing a flamingo mini. Now this mini is inspired by one done by Lindsay from Nail That Accent back in early June. She did the most amazing one. I loved her so much. I just had to try and recreate it. So let's get into it. I really hope you like it. I'm starting off with a light pink base on all of my nails and to do that I'm using OPI's Let's Be Friends which is from the Hello Kitty collection. Now I do love this beautiful, very, very light shade of pink, but it does take at least three thin coats to become opaque. It's worth it in the end, but it, yeah, you're going to have to put in some work with this one. <laughs> hmm. Now after waiting about five minutes between the first and second coat, and then coming in with the second coat, and then wait another about five minutes for uh, it to dry enough, to do the third coat and then you reach complete opacity. Yay! <laughs> so the next step is to do the teensiest bit of cleanup because I've been quite good with uh, painting this particular nail. Um, of course I'm using my Royal Majestic brush and my non-acetone remover, details of which are in the description box down below. Someone asked me about uh, where I get it from in the comments of my previous video. I think it was Manisha M. Um, so yeah, all the details about everything I use is always in the description box down below. Always. Always, always, always. <laughs> Unless I forget. In which case, go ahead and remind me. <laughs> So the next step is to add a coat of sesh feet. I do this always before doing any nail art and particularly if I've done three coats of polish because sesh feet has a unique property in the fact that it dries through the layers of nail polish. Now I'm not sure if you'd be able to do that with polished mountain. I don't think it's that good but three thin coats of polish then sesh feet is most definitely going to dry through all of those which is going to give you a beautiful surface to do your nail art on and that's why I do that at this stage. Next the polishes I'm going to use to paint the flamingo are actually also from the Hello Kitty uh, collection by OPI and the first one is the lighter pink which is look at my bow. It's like look at my bow because it's an exclamation mark. And then I'm using the hot pink also from that collection, which is called Spoken from the Heart. Now, for the freehand painting of these flamingos, uh, I'm going to be using or starting with the lighter pink of the two that I've just shown you. And that one is called, again, Look at My Bow. Um, so we're going to create two little flamingos on this nail. The first is a little bit larger than the second one because I... After I'd finished it, I thought, oh, that looks like a mother and daughter. Oh, it's kind of cute. <laughs> anyway, so you can see it's kind of a roundish but not completely roundish shape. And then I'm going to do the smaller body slightly lower on my nail. Uh, you don't want to put them too low because remember, flamingos have very long legs. So you want to be able to put really long legs on your flamingos. So once we've got the two bodies done, we then do the necks, which are obviously quite long and a bit hooked. They look almost like, well, the ones I painted look almost like swan heads or swan necks and heads, I suppose. But anyway, it's not a big deal. Uh, so, yeah, and still using this lighter shade of pink. So once you have that stage or you're, you're at this stage, you're then going to come in with a hotter or like a hot pink or a darker pink than what you've used for the body or and the necks of the flamingos. And we're going to create a little bit of dimension using that darker uh, pink colour. Now initially I put it in and I thought, oh, it looks kind of wanky. <laughs> so I came back in with a little bit more of the lighter pink and kind of went over it. I, I'm not 100% sure that I made it any better than it was it's almost like we're doing the wings I guess I guess do they even yeah they do I think they fly hmm. okay so once we've done that it's then time to come in with some black acrylic craft paint yes you could use polish but why do that when you can use acrylic craft paint if you have it and we're going to do the legs and also going to do the beaks so starting with the beaks I think I made the beak a little bit weird looking on the mother 
um, and then I tried to correct that and then it just basically made it look like she was kissing her daughter's head which I thought was really cute so yeah I gave myself a pat on the back for that one <laughs> even if it was accidental like I could tell you I did it on purpose but anyway now as you can see the legs are crossing over and you don't be too precious about this it's very very easy it's like you're just swiping it down it's very easy once all of the acrylic craft paint and everything else was completely dry, I went ahead and sealed it all in with my favourite top coat, which of course, as per usual, is Sesh Feet. That's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much to Lindsay for the inspiration. I will link her details in the description box down below so you can go and check out her original, which was really amazing. Way better than mine. Uh, I think she posted it on the 7th of June, so go and check it out. Anyway. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.